Welcome to the only place that might be windier than Manitoba, North Dakota. Yeah, it looks exactly the same as Manitoba. There's the same windmills, kind of like where I grew up near Altona. But uh, you guys have been asking, Jay, when are you gonna come fishing in the States again? When are you gonna come ice fishing in the States? We got a, a pretty special opportunity, which I'm gonna tell you all about, but I'm just checking my trailer straps. We're about an hour away from Devil's Lake, North Dakota, and we're gonna be there for the next 10 days. Probably picked the coldest week on the face of the earth to film some ice fishing. Uh, and I'm told that it's always windy there. So that is what I'm ready for. People give me funny looks like, why are you coming ice fishing in the States? Like, we normally come to Canada, but yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good week. Well guys, I just got settled in and uh, we're staying in a pretty special place. Welcome to JMO headquarters, Jason Mitchell Outdoors. If you don't know who Jason is, you've been living under rock. He's, his face is plastered all over the ice fishing game. And uh, I told him I was coming to Devil's Lake and he said, come stay with me, stay in my shop, in my mansion, in my warehouse. <laughs> Jason, how's it going? Good, man. Welcome to the tundra. Yeah. You come from the tundra, so you know all about this. You know what, I, it, yeah, it's supposed to be like minus 40th wind chill, but uh, yeah, you're taking off to South Dakota? Yeah, so I'm heading to South Dakota, you're fishing here, so. I'm fishing here. We may rep a bunch of different brands, but we're both on the same team. Jason's had a bunch of work for Huntfish Manitoba. We've actually never fished together. This is our first time meeting like 10 minutes, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but uh, you know what? They say Canadians are nice. I think North Dakotans are nicer right. because well, you- we're right next to Canada, right? You let a stranger into your place. <laughs> but uh, anyways, this, this shop's spectacular. Can you give us a quick little look around? Are you okay doing that? Yeah, that's, there's always rods to string up and there's always stuff that's broken and stuff to play with. And so, I, you know, the thing is we travel all over and we fish all kinds of different places. So. You know, it just takes a tremendous amount of equipment and gear. And so, it's efficiency, right? Like, yeah, and so, I mean, we got, yeah, more tackle than we'll use in our lifetime. And, you know, try to keep everything organized and clean. So usually we have a stall over here. Like I got my snowmobile back there and boat and rods and fish traps up on pallets. Look so. at this. This is this is every <laughs> little boy's dream right here. Yeah. Tell, yeah, me, tell me about this. What is this I all about? I picked it up yesterday. And so it's kind of about ready to go on its maiden voyage. And so, uh, yeah, picked Look. it up from Mort's Marine and Mandan and... Yeah. Look at that! You're, you're, yeah, you're I'm riding. I'm getting in. soft in my old age. I, <laughs> I, I saw this cab and heated seats, heated cab. But that's the way I need to roll. So put a topper on the back, and so put some shelving in here, and just trying to get organized and ready. I think this is like the equivalent of a windshield boat for a, from a tiller <laughs> to like a windshield boat. That's what it is. Yeah. I uh, when we built this place, we actually have a couple rentals next door too that we rent out. Nice. People come in here, but here's just kind of a conference room here. <laughs> Look at this do podcasts and stuff like that. Come through here, we've got- Wait, wait, wait. Tell me about this, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> oh, I caught it a couple of springs ago. Biggest walleye I'll ever catch in my life. I'm quite certain. How long? That. Well, for, you know, we put it on the boat, I think it was 34 inches. 34. It was a four. big fish, but uh, I, I think it probably would've been right in there, you know, state record material. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I released it, I've never, second guess that it was beautiful catching it. it was unbelievable one of the most one of the coolest experiences i've ever had outdoors and uh, it was really cool releasing it watching it swim away hard it was just uh, amazing spiritual <laughs> yeah that's that's what everyone dreams of right oh, there yeah. so yeah so here's uh more offices here's where my son has his office my mess in here this is where all the business happens. <laughs> oh, I better grab this hat here. I better not leave that out. But, uh, okay, so here's the thing, Jason. People think if you have a fishing show, you're fishing every day. How much do you actually fish and hunt? Well, I get to fish a lot, you know, but the thing is I came from a world where I was guiding where I was fishing every day, you know, where, you know, if you're gonna make a living guiding, you pretty much go every day, every week, and every, everything. And, and, and I love guiding. I mean, I always joke, someday when I get tired of traveling and tired of TV, I hope I can go back to guiding. I loved, I loved guiding. I love taking people fishing. And then I had the opportunity to get into television, whereas now I'm doing a lot more traveling. Just a lot more travel. But the thing about it is when I was guiding every day, I didn't get a chance to fish anywhere else. Like, yeah, I'm sure you can relate to that. You're now you get to travel, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're, you might be on one of the best fisheries on the planet, but that's the only place you'll ever see. Yeah. As whereas what I enjoy about what I do now is I'm not on the water fishing every day like I used to be, but I get to go to all these different places, meet all kinds of cool people. And My, my favorite part about what I do, about what we do is meeting cool people yeah. like oh, yeah. it's like we've known each other for years we've just met a couple minutes ago but uh it's the people you meet along the way i think the fishing is obviously a part of it but yeah. 
It's, uh, it's experiences in the places. And oh, yeah. uh, going to some little bar or restaurant in yeah. some local place and finding the best food ever in the middle of nowhere, you know. And that, that's my plan after this. Going to go to downtown <laughs> Devil's Lake. But anyways, Jason's taken off. Uh, I will link him below his YouTube channel. You've probably seen him on TV, but we are going to fish together one day. Maybe yeah. I'll bring him up to Manitoba or Lake of the Woods and uh, we'll share some hook sets. Yeah, hopefully I can get my job done in South Dakota quick enough where I can get back up. There you go. Yeah, come fishing, fish with us. So absolutely. Awesome. Thanks, Jason. You bet. Good morning from JMO headquarters. This is like, this is the dream shop right here. It's unbelievable. He's actually got two quarters on the end there that he rents out. So if you guys are fishing the Devil's Lake area, you can stay, you can stay here and it's, it's amazing. It's got these big shop doors for loading all your gear in. Um, but thank you, Jason, for the hospitality. Uh, yeah, just such a nice, such a nice dude and uh, just so welcoming. So anyways, we got the sled loaded on the trailer. Anyways, this is day one of eight days. The next three days, are gonna be documented on this channel. Actually, we'll talk about that later. Anyways, we are going to a tackle shop and then we're meeting a special co-host on the ice. Welcome to Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Not the first one here. I can actually see three four snow bears from the access point right now. So maybe there's some fish around. Uh, we, we're waiting for our co-host, but we're gonna get unloaded. And um, we don't really have a target species in mind today. I think we're just gonna go fishing and, and see what we can find, do a little live scoping and um, just, yeah, this is a big lake. All right. This is my beast. I haven't done really a walk around on this thing in a little while. And uh, this is this is not uh, a small snow machine by any means. It is a Bearcat 570, 550. I'm not even sure it's a Bearcat, that's what I know. On the front, I did a little fancy rig in here. I put a hummingbird mount on one side and a Lowrance mount on the other side so I can turn it. I can turn it based on what mapping I wanna use. I bought a couple cheaper units um, one, so I can do a lot of the Angler's Edge mapping, Lowrance, and then Hummingbird for all the Lake Master stuff. Um, there isn't too many lakes in my area where I need specific Garmin mapping, so those two are pretty good on the dash, my snow machine. Um, I, I like having a smaller screen. I had a bigger screen in the past and it was just kind of got in the way. I got uh, this huge ATV box for the back. I added some rod holders on the side here, just some pieces of pipe. You got the bucket holder, which I can put my backpack in. So much storage in here. Live scope, iFish Pros, food, tackle. The auger carrier on the side with the ion, and then the Escape 5800 on the back. It's not the type of machine you wanna get stuck by yourself in. Um, I haven't been stuck by myself yet. I'm sure there'll be a time where that happens. But uh, yeah, it, it can carry a lot of gear. Um, obviously a second person as well. And um, yeah, we're, we're gonna get out fishing. Uh, we'll probably just go fish outside for a little bit and kind of scout around and then uh, We'll come pick up, come pick up our buddy. All right, we're out here. I, I really didn't go too far from the access because uh, buddy is gonna be here in 10 minutes. So we're gonna try here. Oh, there's fish. There's fish down there. Look at that. Instant, two fish coming up. First drop on Devil's Lake. <laughs> I think we caught a big perch. Literally first drop. That was ridiculous. Come on. Give me that North Dakota gold. There we go. First hole, first perch. I think we're going to have a good time. Beauty. We're going to put this fish back. I'm sure we're going to catch some more, but that was, uh, yeah, 28 feet of water. First drop, so good. All right, we got to get down. There was two that came up for that. That is the crazy thing with live imaging is you can just scan around. You don't have to drill a ton of holes, but oh, there's more fish. There's more fish. Look at this bunch of fish. Come on, baby. Got him. This is good. That's like two drops and two fish. That is uh, a little smaller than the last one. This is what I'm using. The little bluegill colored tungsten. This is a four millimeter, three millimeter, and uh, it's got that new elasto larva, that stretchy bait. 
that I was using for crappies earlier this year. But I think my co-host is here. John Hoyer, everybody. We got John Hoyer. John and I have been fishing friends for a number of years, but he lives in Minneapolis. I live in Kenora, so we haven't been able to fish a bunch. I think we've, have we only fished once together? Yeah, for muskies. Once together, he took me out of Mille Lacs for muskies. And he, what I like about John, other than him being a nice dude, is he's a multi-species multi -species guy. He likes to fish for everything. John's won a little bit of money on Devil's Lake as well, uh, in some small club walleye derbies. Today, he's, uh, he's joining me. Wow, that might be a walleye. Okay, do you wanna set the shack up right here? There's a lot of fish kicking around. Cool. I appreciate that. Oh, John's hooked up. I don't know. What is it, John? It is a- Yellow perch? 11 inch perch. 11 inch perch, he's predicting. And he's, oh, oh it's a walleye. walleye. That's dinner. Choked. That one's going into some catch and cook. Wow, you got multiple bogeys down there? I think just one. When do things get busiest around here? Like late ice, like March, is that? I think when people can start driving, you know, so now. Yeah. It's a good time of year to perch fish because you don't have to drill through 30 inches of... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. Nice. John is hooked up. I am. A little more dig out of this one. You know, this is when you realize you didn't put enough electrical tape on your reel because <laughs> you can feel it flexing. This one's going to be bigger than the last one. Is it gonna end up in catch and cook maybe? Yeah, well they all do. Interesting head bobs. 18 inch perch. That would be nice. Ooh, I nice want a walleye. really fat walleye. Show me. I will, I'd love to. Wow, that's got a nice build on it. Oh, son. Thank you, Devil's Lake. I'm getting out fish and I'm okay with that. Well, hey, you're targeting perch for the team, <laughs> which is what we're here for. And, uh, that little gem right there is kind of a one of my favorite multi-species lures because if you snap it around enough, um, you know, walleyes will eat it too. Or you'll just snag the fish eventually. Or, well, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've said this before and I'll keep saying this. I think on the average, Americans are much better fishermen than Canadians. John was disagreeing with me before, but like, yeah, these, they, these fish get a lot more pressure around here. That's because I watch people like yourself, your buddy Aaron, uh, these two Johnston brothers that fish bass, and this guy, good. this guy named Gussie. So that's who I gauge all my Canadian anglers off of. Watch his cadence. Watch the it's things that I take note of when I fish with really good anglers. If I was in mid-season form, this would be a warm front, you know? Yeah. And I would use the auger as aerobic and just... I mean, my normal perch fishing thing is 60 seconds a hole. Really? Yeah. Now that's pre-live scope or active yeah. target, so... That next one, you should just try like really cranking on it with that jig. Just rip it hard? Well, just a really sharp little cadence, like all the way to the okay. end, like till you feel the cadence disappear. And just keep it going, like okay. if they come to that, yeah. they'll they'll finish that way too. I'm learning. That's kind of... I'm a perch pro. Well... Perch have been my all-time favorite fish. I didn't know that. Yeah, by far. Like, really? More than musky? Dude, I think about how many 20-hour days I've musky fished and how much physical ability that takes. <laughs> the amount of physical effort I've put into perch fishing is the only thing that like matches it or is more. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. This guy's going to bite. Look at this. Oh, yeah, he is. Yes, buddy. That's, that's a perch, I think. I'm calling perch. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna catch his friend. He's fired up now, thanks to you. Oh, target species. All right, thanks to John's guidance, we got another perch on the board. I think only my true perch friends realize how jealous I am of that fish. And look it, it's what, half the length that that walleye is? I didn't I'd know much that you- would rather catch that one. I didn't know you love perch so much. Oh, the love goes deep. So the spot we're fishing, this is essentially, there's a creek behind us and we're fishing the mud flat at the, at the base of that bay. And perch, you would say, favor the mud more than the rock? Yeah, for sure. Favorite. I mean, um, there's always gonna be shrimp in shallow on Devil's Lake, so it's kind of an asterisk when you say that. Yeah. But, you know, all the shrimp, and then on top of that, you got blood worms, say mayfly larva, you know, those are always gonna That's be- That's the, the main forage, yeah. Yeah, the deepest parts of the basin, so. Ooh, here's a, 
Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> that took so long. That looked like a walleye bite. I think, uh, I think Perch. He smoked it. He did, I, he followed for, there's another one down there right now. We're out of the shack for a little bit. And uh, Woo, son. we're on some Perch. That is a nice one. This is, uh, this is what Devil's Lake is known for, is for, I would say people probably come here for the Perch, perch more than anything. There's obviously a lot of walleyes, but yeah. You, you come here for the perch, don't you? A hundred percent. I wouldn't drive this far for walleye. <laughs> Dude, nice one. All right, we're having a good fish ride tonight. Yeah, buddy. Jay! You got one? Possible first perch. Come on. Gotta get him through the transducer. I'm so excited right now. You got the perch fever? Yeah, big time. You want me to grab it? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> the heck oh man well john the perch fever continues i guess so sad right now <laughs> so how many days do you think you've spent on devil's lake in my lifetime yeah probably over 500 500 i was not expecting that yeah <laughs> since like 2000 i got the bug for perch out here then I went to Mille Lacs because I'm like, well, they got perch on Mille Lacs and that was only an hour and a half from my house yeah. and it was really good there. So, I mean, basically it was just run and gun. So we drill, just keep drilling until you landed on them. Um, how, how do you, how do you like, obviously that's a, a good way to find them. How do you keen on specifically bigger size fish? Uh, just a numbers game. I mean, it's all just sorting. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But it's more like, you know, your classes of fish perch are the only thing is cyclical is perch are crappies. So, yeah. Um, they actually don't live that long in the Dakotas and these small in small sloughs. They only live like three years. Really? Yeah. I so, know you know, the whole catch and release idea of perch fishing. I mean, really the only reason to do it would be to like release it for somebody else to catch as a trophy. But that's where I like to be a realist about all fish species. But basically because what are the odds that somebody's going to catch this fish again when it's already say 13 inches, yeah. it's only going to live for one more year. Yeah. It'd be like winning the Powerball for it to live two more years, and that's it's not why. Not like a muskie that's going to live another ten years. Yeah, exactly. Devil's Lake, baby, first day, having fun, haven't drilled the four hundred holes that John promised we were going to drill, but I think I blame that a little bit on Live Scope. Bring him home, John. Oh, I could have sworn he was on there. Yeah, I thought he bumped it too. Oh, you catch him. Just crank it up and go up. Go up, 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 up. Crank on it, like. Closer though, yeah. Let him get closer. There you got him. Sean had to tell me when to set the hook. <laughs> You're almost there, Jay. Just set it. I'm just showing you, you know, Minnesota style. No, no, Sunset that's good. walleye fish. See, that's the one thing you, oh my gosh, dude, this is a hog. Look at this one. Just catch him. Good move though. Sold. You told me. You guide it, you basically held my hand. So when you say crank it up, you mean like cadence wise, cadence like, wise, not lifting it more. Like even as they first come in, like my move, if I had a spoon on right now, I'd be going full, literally like. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So if you get them to move up, then as they follow, you excite that cadence. So I yep. feel like it actually is. Like the middle getting nervous? Yeah, right. Yeah, but basically, like. You know, you're, you're going like this, yeah. and you're going up, but as they follow, yeah. I always go like this, like this is my yeah. spoon, this is the fish. I let them close in first, then I take away, and then I'm instantly letting them catch it. Okay, the whole yeah. time, I'm like really cranking on it. Yeah. And, you know, it looks like their ceiling is like maybe four or five feet. That's got a little more weight. I would say. Cadence lessons with John. No, that was, that was the Canadian hard sell on the bottom there. The Canadian cadence. Yeah. It is 4.30, sun is setting at five. This is that magic hour. Don't horse them, Jay. All I'm seeing is orange and stripes. Come on. Ooh. Yeah. Beautiful. Micro. Beautifully tungsten. done. Angry. All right, we are cooking for the boys tonight. When you got the Mr. Catch and Cook along, that's when you really should keep the most fish possible. Oh, look at this. This one's gonna eat. Oh. Yeah, it wants it hard. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, that one likes you a lot. Yes! <laughs> I That was crazy. And there's two more sitting down there. That don't like me. Oh yeah. Uh, Do we want them? Yeah, we want them. Walleye clinic going on. Oh, they don't... Oh, 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 oh. Oh. oh no! That was the biggest. Oh no, he's coming for you. No, he's another... not. He oh, still he's likes back. you. He wants you more. Oh, that one likes me. Oh, it's man. bigger. Oh, nice. that's your fish. I lost him. Oh. What kind of hooks do we have on here? Oh. Come on. Oh, this one's one coming too. Come on, for double. You oh, you're gonna catch that one. Nice. Oh, dude, come on. They do not like the getaway around here. <laughs> Stay on! Come on, third time's the charm. How mad do they get when you take it away? Oh yeah. Come on, double it. Yes! Double! Oh, these are decent. Yeah, they're friends. Oh. <laughs> Unreal. Huh? Mine's starting to feel decent. <laughs> Jay, no pressure, but we need this double. And there's another one down there. Oh, they're twin sisters. <laughs> All right, John, hold this fish. Whoa, buddy. Yeah, yours is 10 get, times get, get the right size. Get right in here, get right in here. Look at that. <laughs> Devil's Lake, my first time. Thank you, John, oh, for dude. showing me how it's done. It's so fun. Oh, when they're on, their mood changes so fast. Okay, I don't need that guy. All right. Are you going to stay longer? Oh, wow. And then, Look at this. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> They're coming back out to depth. We got a bucket full to bring back for a fish fry. Look at the size of that perch. Stop it, Jay. All right, we got one more for the pail. We just put the lid on. We thought it was over. <laughs> this is what has done the damage for the last little bit. A little dinner bell jigging spoon. I'm using the micro. He's been using the 3 16th, the medium sized. Well, this is only the first day of three. John Hoyer, check him out. Instagram, hit him up, drop him a follow, drop him a like, super like, swipe up, swipe right. That's all I got. Devil's Lake.